Hello friends, welcome to AutoCAD video tutorials. I am Prabhu and you are watching this video from CyberCADSolutions.com. In this session, I am going to explain how to pan and how to zoom. Say for example, you have drawn something over here, here, here and here. So that your sheet within the screen is filled and you would like to move this sheet little to the left and you want to draw something else over the right side. So to move this sheet, you can take pan command. To activate pan, you can use your scroll button on the mouse. Pick your scroll button so that your pan command will start and you can drag the sheet like this or you can use pan command. There is a shortcut. Type P at command prompt and press enter. Now pan command will start. Just pick your left click button and don't leave it now you drag while the button is pressed so that your sheet will move like this or if you are in any other command say i am starting a line command type l at command prompt and press enter and pick some point at the center over here and you pick another point over here now you want to take pan command transparently that is you don't want to stop the line command but you want to take pan means you want to move the sheet so right click and in the shortcut menu you have pan option take that option now click your left mouse button and drag your sheet like this so that you can move your sheet this is how we can use pan command in autocad now the line command will continue you can pick other points like this and press enter so this is how we can pan now you have finished the drawing and say you want to see all the drawing entities which are drawn till now so for that we will use zoom command shortcut for zoom command is z type z at command prompt and press enter you will get so many options in that to view all the entities drawn within the current drawing take extends option extends to activate any option we know the capital letter is to be typed in or you can click on that option I am typing E at command prompt and press enter. Now you can see all the drawing and this is how we can see the total drawing using zoom command that is zoom and extends option. Let us say I am changing uh, this entity color to say some red color and this to some yellow color. Now to zoom a particular entity we have an option type z z at command prompt and take object option and select the object to which you want to zoom and press enter once the selection is finished you can see the selected object is set to the screen size and this is how we can zoom to objects similarly now using zoom object option let us try to display two entities in the current viewport so type z at command prompt and take object option so i'm clicking on object option and then the command prompt is saying select objects i'm going to select these two green and red circles and pressing enter you can observe the selected two circles are fit to the current screen again to set back to the zoom extends that is to view all the entities in the current drawing Again, take zoom command, type z at command prompt and take extends option. To activate this, we can type e at command prompt or we, we can also pick on the extends option. I am at present entering e and press enter so that you can view all the entities in the current drawing. Again, in the zoom command, type z at command prompt. In the so many options, the first option is zoom all. So what is this option? Zoom all will display the limits or extents of the current drawing if limits are bigger than the extents then it will show the total limits if entities are bigger than the limits of current drawing then it will show the extents so it zoom all option will show either limits or extents whichever is the bigger one let us take that option type a at command prompt and press enter now you can see some gap or the left and bottom side is being shown since there is 
uh, lower left corner is over here that is why it is trying to show lower left corner to the maximum extent and if you take extends option z enter e enter you can observe only currently available entities are being fit to the current screen that is the major difference between zoom all and extends then what is zoom center let us see that type z dot command prompt and take center option i am taking center option by entering c at command prompt now the command prompt is asking to specify center point so i am going to take the center of this circle so c e n press enter to take the center point i am clicking this point and now we need to enter the magnification height uh, that is the distance from which we want to see this circle so i am giving 25 units you can see that circle is kept to the center of current viewport and then it is kept 25 units far away from us so that is the zoom center option similarly if you want to go to the previous zoom we have previous option so simply click on previous so it will take us to the previous zoom you can take this zoom previous uh, up to 10 previous zooms so zoom previous is to go to the previous zoom location and similarly when you type z dot command prompt by default by default it will give us the uh, window option we don't have to activate it again you can see that over here in the response area specify corner of window simply you can pick two corners like this so that that area will be kept or set to the current viewport so if you type zoom command you are already in zoom window option you can click simply two corners like this and zoom that area in the zoom command scale option is useful in layouts when we are explaining layouts then we will see how to use this scale option in the zoom command hope you understand how to use zoom command if you like this video please share my website link to your friends cybercardsolutions.com and if you have any doubts you can email me my email id is cybercardprabhu@gmail.com thanks for watching and welcome to the next session